Come out of his mail. Gary? Catherine? Kids? My teeth. Uh, Hello, potential customer. Do you have house insurance? Do you no. know that eight out of ten houses in this area have burned down and all their possessions lost? One man lost a child. A young child. Which ones? Um. The ones at the top. The top end was in young Jeff's house. Um, yeah. Jean, young Jeff's house has burned down. Hey, I best go tell the girls. <clears throat> so, do you want the house insurance? No. Life insurance? No. Car insurance? No. Pet insurance? No. Pack of cigarettes? Burnt Jeff's house down the other day. Good job he's got no kids. How did they skim semi skimmed milk? Hmm. I hope Jeff's mum's all right. Did you hear Jeff's house burned down? Lost a kid as well. Jeff doesn't have any kids. And he lives with his mum. Oh, Dean told me that's all. I had my food today. What? Nothing. I miss my mum and dad. Test the bra, lass, at your service. Are you braless? I've been braless for 35 years, dear. Oh, well, my lovely lady friend, are you in luck? Cos I have got a range of bras that's perfect for your stature. My stature? I think you, dear. OK, well, when a woman gets to a certain age, the bosom tends to wilter a bit. Like a flower in winter. Old. Dishevelled. 
grey. Yes? Anyway, I am Tessa Brawless and I am here to offer you a fabulous range of bras. And I mean, they're so comfortable. You forget you're even wearing them half the time. I mean, look at this. Super. How many can I put you down for? All I need to do is measure. Now my accurate breast measurement system is top notch. I simply put my hands on your wrinkled breasts and match them up to the corresponding bra size labelled. Perfectly legal in every way. I need to go and watch my stories. Oh, oh okay dear. Oh, thank God for that. Blowing our cover. I'm sorry. There's a lot of crime in this street. And I'll be damned if they get past me. The locals are here getting real scared about these break-ins. I can't seem to see him. This guy must be a real professional. He be dipping and diving every bush, crack and hole to get away from me. But he doesn't know. What I know, that he knows. I do, Mark. Fancy a spin? No, no, uh, Do it around, no. thief! Do it around, thief! No, no, you're not a thief. Uh, 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 leave and uh, everything will be okay. Oh, come on, dear Lord. You're not going shy on me now, are you? Sh shy? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm working. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the third car she's been up to in the past two hours. Disgusting to have this kind of behaviour in our street. Centre. Did you watch EastEnders last night? Well, the one with the Barry lad crossing his car in the middle of the square, killing himself and Barbara. While in their funeral, there was a massive bust between Susie and Jim because Susie found out that he's been going with Barbara behind her back. But what no one realises is that Susie has been having an affair with that new woman from across the street. No, I'm more of a quarry for myself. Hmm. Can't beat a bit of neighbours though, can you? All them tan bodies jumping around all over the shop. Not like that Holby City with all that blood and disease. Patsy kens its jaw knocking about like an hammer. Eh, hey, did you hear about that Paul who lives two doors down from you? No, what? Well, the story goes. They caught him driving his scooter at 36 miles an hour whilst under the influence. I remember looking out of my bedroom window and he was wandering around with one of these hoodies, like he owned the place. Yeah, well, if you ask me, it's the parents. Pregnant at 17, and where's the father? She has got nice hair, though. That hooker has got rather masculine legs for a woman. Yeah, she has. 